Hi everyone, I'm Suresh and in my talk today, I'm going to provide an update on some of the current work related to CWL, which enables efficient, reproducible and portable analysis workflows at the University of Melbourne Centre for Cancer Research, UMCCR. Starting with my introduction, I am a highly experienced bioinformatician specialized in the development of pipelines for the processing, mining, and integration of next generation sequencing data with a particular focus on precision oncology. I have added my Twitter, LinkedIn, and GitHub profile links to this slide just in case someone wants to get in touch later on. Before talking about the analysis workflows, I would like to provide some background on our current work, which is part of the Advanced Genomics Collaboration. Illumina and the University of Melbourne have partnered to create a biomedical and economic powerhouse for Australia by building a genomics hub. This is enabled by establishing core platforms, which include clinical genomics, bioinformatics, and health economics. In my lightning talk today, I'll be providing a quick overview of the work undertaken by a bioinformatics platform to create efficient, reproducible, and portable workflows. These analysis workflows enable the creation, storage, and investigation of national and global scale genomics data sets while leveraging CWL on Illumina's connected analytics ICA platform. Before going to the next few slides, I'm going to leave a very quick note here that these slides will provide a sneak peek into some of the analysis workflows we have created to support analysis of clinical data. Um, so generating clinical reports, as we all know from high throughput sequencing data, requires slicing and dicing of data through various steps. To achieve reproducibility and portability, we have developed CWL pipelines for these steps. Also, the slides which you are looking at have links to GitHub in case you are interested in having a detailed look at these workflows. This figure here is a general presentation of this process, which I'm going to discuss in detail in the next few slides, starting with the pre-processing, which involves converting binary files produced by sequencing platforms to FOSC files. We have created a CWL workflow that performs this step and produces FOSQ files that are then fed into prime reprocessing pipelines. These include QC pipeline for quality control analysis, somatic pipeline for whole genome analysis of somatic mutation patterns, and transcriptome pipeline for whole transcriptome analysis of RNA-seq data. We also post-process primary results into to attain secondary analysis results, such as ploidy, purity, signatures, HRD detection, mutational consequences, gene expression, fusion, immune markers, to name a few, and other things as well, just in case you are interested in the bioinformatics domain. This is for curation and clinical reporting purposes, and the data is passed on to the curators. We have CWL pipelines for post-processing of WGS, whole genome data, WTS, whole transcriptome data, and that those that make, make an R language workflows as independent reproducible steps. Again, you can find links here on the slide. On this slide, I have included a link to the main GitHub repo, which has collection of these workflows I have just talked about and some of the workflows as well for processing, mining, and integration of omics data. You are now viewing a quick demo of this repository that has links to getting started, wiki, catalog for workflows and tools. The CWL definitions are arranged into expression, schemas, tools, and workflow categories. Each tool definition is arranged under its main tool name and version controlled uh, to enable traceability and reproducibility. Uh, in a very similar way, workflows are also named and version controlled as you are just looking at, at one of the Git QC workflow. Same applies to expressions and schema definitions as well. Again, if you are interested, please have a look and give us feedback or feel free to use these CWL definitions as well. I will finish off my talk by acknowledging the amazing team I'm working with. This is only part of the team actually. Uh, we need a new picture. 
Specifically, I would like to thank Alexis here on the right hand side, who is behind a lot of automation and cataloging work. We are working under the supervision of Oliver Hoffman and Sean Grimmin. The focus of the team is on designing and automating workflows, methods, and infrastructure for the rapid analysis of cancer patients genome and transcriptomes. Please get in touch if you are interested in this work or would like to discuss projects or job opportunities in general. Thank you very much.